It's been probably a year since I've traded video games into my local game store, and I wanna see if it's still worth it. We're gonna test that theory today. So I've already got a bin that we had put together that says trade in. These are games, five, ten dollars or less, things that aren't worth selling by themselves that hopefully we can trade in towards more valuable games and things that we can sell or put in the collection. That's always the goal when we're trading in stuff and we might even be able to find some really good deals. Now, we've been unpacking some games from the game barn. These are unprocessed completely, but I know that I can quickly make another bin of stuff that I know isn't worth selling individually. Like for example, ATV Off-Road Fury 2. Definitely not worth selling individually. Same with one and three. Four great games. They just don't carry a lot of value. So we're gonna throw in a few of those. Um, things like All-Star Baseball 2002. We'll see if they take that kind of thing. That's actually worth quite a lot. Ace Combat Zero, so that's cool to see. We're not gonna trade that in. And then I think I can find some quickly. So let me grab ATV Off-Road Fury 1s. Let's grab a three. I don't wanna grab too many of the same thing because I, I want them to get a good variety. When I trade in stuff, um, Rock Band 1, we don't really use those anymore. Uh, championship Poker. That trolley in the chocolate factory. Yes, Charlie <laughs> in the chocolate, well said. <laughs> and uh, we'll get some of the Tiger Woods games. Let's go over to Xbox, keep it, uh, mixing it up. Prince of Persia, I can't remember if that's worth selling or not. <laughs> I know that's not. Sneak King and Pocket Bike Racer from Burger King. Um, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Those are Burger King like Happy Meal things. Tom Clancy, there's some more poker games. You see any obvious ones? Um, another one of these. Another one of these. Actually, this is a trilogy. What about gonna do that? Black, I've seen this one a lot normally. I think that might be worth selling. Okay. So we got these to start. And then, oh, they'll, they'll take some Genesis. Yeah. That's the kind of stuff they love. And even if it's sports stuff, they'll be way more likely to take it. So Mortal let's Kombat's a bunch worth of that. it. Yeah, Maybe some Sonics. Sell. No, we can sell Sonics all day. Like, I don't want to I don't want to trade in anything that's easy for us to sell. Where do we sell? <clears throat> Amazon, eBay, and whatnot. So some of this stuff, you know, like, could end up being kind of sellable. But for today's purpose, we're, we're grabbing what we think is the lower value items and just trading them all in. Sky Guy here with an incredible limited time offer, including giving away a brand new Nintendo Switch, but more on that shortly. Today and yesterday's tomorrow only, we're going to be doing a super fun auction with hundreds of games, manuals, and more games. But that's not all. No, 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 that's not all. If you download the WhatNot app using the link in the description, you'll get not five, not ten, but fifteen dollars credit. Wow! And if you can't make it to our show today, that's okay, because on February 3rd, we're going to be doing a massive auction with games and giveaways like this nintendo switch right here but if you act right now and get our show to 500 bookmarks i'll double, double the, the offer and give away a super mystery item we'll have incredible complete games like super mario rpg secret of evermore legend of zelda final fantasy 3 super smash bros and so much more we're going to be adding hundreds of auctions and buy it nows to the show so make sure to check in to get some deals, deals. Come by the show, even if it's just to watch. We have a super fun time with you guys. We've been told it's more of a show than a sale. So just a couple hours after this video comes out, we are doing this massive manual and games auction. We have pretty much every single console here, including NES, Super Nintendo. We got GameCube. I think there's N64 under there. We we got Xbox. We've got Playstations. We've got Segas. We have some really, really high-end ones like... This one's super, super nice. And over here, some really awesome Super Nintendo manuals. We're getting hundreds of games ready to sell. So if you have time, definitely stop by. We're probably streaming right now as you're watching this. So definitely consider joining. And then February 3rd at five o'clock Eastern, make sure you come by. We have probably $15,000 of video games, really nice collection pieces. On top of having some cool giveaways, a bunch of buy it nows, you're not gonna wanna miss it. We'll see you there. But once again, use our link in the description below to get $15 credit towards video game auctions, buy nows, or something from a different category. Thank you to WhatNot for sponsoring this portion of this video. And I'll probably check level of completeness. If they're super clean, super complete, I'll keep those because we could still sell those easily in like a WhatNot buy it now for five, eight bucks. But if they don't have manuals and stuff like that, we'll definitely trade them in. Game stores usually don't care as much about that kind of thing. I know Titanfall, not worth selling individually. Probably Assassin's Creed 3. But at the <gasps> same time, game. it's a great game they'll be more likely to take popular games like this because mm -hmm. they can sell them very easily locally. I don't know about that one. I don't want to grab anything that's like worth 30 <laughs> bucks that they give me $3 for, you know, like mm -hmm. they'll give you a dollar or two for games that aren't worth much, but they maybe give you three or five for games that are worth a lot. Brats, those can't Get be rid good. of them. 
Yeah, if they are, let us know in the comments. I mean, we could be wrong. Let's go over here, see if we have anything else. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, we do. Oh. Look at all these splinter cells. Sweet mercy. Two of the splinter cells, two of the ghost recons. How about two of these splinter cells? Yep. Dave Mira. Cat the Cabela's. These, these aren't good for PS2, typically. Cat in the Hat could be worth selling. Some Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods. What about NES? For the sake of, like, them liking what they see when I bring in the bins, I wouldn't mind grabbing some NES. But we can also sell that really easily. I don't think it would make sense. This is kind of our last, like, bulk NES section. We pretty much sold through everything and fire sales and stuff and whatnot and all that. Nothing's jumping out to me real obvious over here. These all look like they're probably decent to sell. I like it. We got a good stack. And then we have one more in the shed, I believe, too. We'll grab that. We'll bring in three bins. We'll see what happens. Okay, so what about accessories? Do you ever trade in accessories and which kind? Oh, yes. This, for example. Old Skylanders bases. You know, um, third-party nunchucks, sometimes they would take. Third-party controllers, they, they're not likely to take, but sometimes they do. So I like to at least give them options. Stuff like this, you know, old RF switches. They could probably take that and sell that, and then DVDs are mixed in. That's not the best bin. I would guess that they'll take more things from this one, because obviously games are going to be easier to sell, like with their original cases and stuff. So I want to have a good mix, see what they take. I've heard that there's new managers at the store now, and... They're getting less picky than they were. I kind of stopped because I would take in three bins and they'd look at them and just... They'd take they two even things try. and then say, like, oh, it, it's it, a condition Yeah, like issue. they didn't even put in any effort. So I'm hoping with the new managers... Because like this kind of game sells at mm -hmm. a game store for five, eight bucks. And if you buy it for a dollar, it's worth it. So I want it to be a value to them, but also that they'll go through and actually give some effort to take some stuff. So we're just going to test it out. Here's what we got. Three tubs worth of trade-in. Found this one out in the shed. It looks like PS1, like probably a little bit better trade-in stuff. That's a really solid trade-in bin as you guys saw us pack up. You added some accessories. We did. And then that one's hit or miss. We'll see what happens. I just want to have a full gambit of all the types of trade-in we could have. Let's go test it out. Now we wait. About so, an hour and a half or two, they said. I was uh, honestly kind of surprised. I feel like it takes them an average an hour to go through one bin. Yeah, but it shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I know their process. I've, I've been going to these stores more than anybody for many years. It's a regional chain. Everything has barcodes. Most mm -hmm. everything we traded in. So I don't think it'll take that long, especially since they had three people there working. Yeah. It's not busy. Only one other person. So we'll be back to see the results. All right. It's about a few hours later. We're back to disc traders. They've gone through all of our trade-in predictions. I'm gonna guess that they probably took about half of the stuff that was there. So we'll have a bit and a half left roughly out of the three for a trade credit amount of about 185. And this is going off of what they would have paid and taken about like three years ago uh -huh. while things were still going well. They're supposedly taking more games than they were in the last year. I'll be more cynical. I'll go like 35, 40%, like a third of the stuff. Okay. But I still think they're going to pay a little bit more. So maybe 150. Let's no, it's, go see. it's kind of wishful thinking. Also kind of. I'm uh, hopeful. It could be like they took five games for 20 bucks. Who knows? Yep. We'll see. And then what do you want to buy with the credit? Or are you just going to save it? Oh, I want to buy something. <laughs> want to we buy got some it, nice right? Because normally we'll use the credit to get real high end stuff or stuff we need, anyways. Yeah. So we'll that's have the to, goal. We'll find something to... nice. Guys of Arcadia for GameCube, I saw in there. Oh. If it's got the manual. I want that. <laughs> so they didn't really take much. Sky Guy's guess of about 33% was pretty accurate. So should we not bring all this in too? Or? Uh, maybe we should wait for another day. Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> so I tried to get a photo of the receipt breaking down everything that they took it was like 99 dollars credit or 75 cash that hurts a little bit yeah i was shocked i thought it was 99 cash and then it was going to be more in credit but right as i was Not getting 100 bucks i went to get a picture of the receipt and i like held it up and then the guy took it out of my hand <laughs> so for, for what they took like uh they paid similar to my percentage guess mm -hmm. they just didn't i mean look at like why why not is it a condition issue? Like, let's check out one of the games. They got the same disc cleaner that I do. That one's fine. No, it's perfect, yeah, like, I, I don't know. I don't, probably inventory issues and stuff. At least. But like, why not take RC Pro in? I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? We got 99 bucks. We're gonna go find the best way to spend that and hopefully turn that into like 200 or more, find some profitable items. 
Let's go make it happen. So we're going back into the store armed with $99 in trade credit, still hoping to be able to do some damage. They actually had Skylanders Imaginators on Switch, but marked at $115 for the cartridge only. So that was a bit of a bummer because normally if you see that out in the wild, you're going to find it for cheap. Moved on, looked at DS, Pokemon games, appropriately priced. Nothing was really complete, but go over to the case with the GameCube in it. See Skies of Arcadia, Mega Man 5, and Resident Evil 2. Now these are all kind of priced to where if they had the manual, it would be a really good score. So I asked for some help. They come over, open up the case, Disguise of Arcadia, nothing. No manual, it was marked at 140 bucks, which is kind of, it's okay, but with the manual, it would have been great. Mario Party 5 marked at 70. Again, no manual. I was hoping that would be the end of our trip, but we had to come out with something. And this is when I start to shift gears over to new, maybe new old stock type stuff. So looking at the Xbox 360 case, I see some of the Chrome series controllers, purple, silver, and camouflage, all three of them being brand new. The purple one marked at $90, I looked it up and turns out that actually goes for about 130 bucks on eBay and even more on Amazon. So 90 bucks after tax, I'm pretty much uh, getting that for free with my trade credit and I'm stoked to have this one. And honestly, that's like almost cool enough for the collection. Uh, I really like the look of that, the blister, like the plastic okay. feel, it looks awesome. So we'll see what I end up doing with that. I'll probably sell it because I don't generally collect Xbox or Microsoft stuff as much. But then I was like, the Game Boy Player seems like a pretty good deal for 130. Traditionally, the disc would sell for like 100 bucks by itself. So I'm like, ah, it's probably an all right deal with the player with it too. But look it up. This thing's going for like 200 all the way up to 250 if the disc is complete with the case and manual. And they had it for 130 So I really think there's a very comfortable 70 bucks in profit here after fees, after tax, after everything. So profiting 70 on this, and if I were to sell this after my trade credit, you know, a pure profit of about $125 for a total of almost 200 bucks in profit. That's a success. That being said, it was filled with a lot of disappointments too. I think the key here is not giving up, sticking with it. $99 of credit wasn't great, but it's mostly because they just didn't take much. Maybe next time if we come with more of the right stuff, we'll be able to make something happen. We tried to ask and see what they're really looking for, but he didn't really have much of an answer. Chase to answer our original question, was, was this worth it? I'm somewhat inconclusive, but overall I would say yes, because we did just get this controller basically for free, trading in stuff that's taken up space that's worth it. I was hoping it would be a little more worth it getting this for a great score and some profit. Definitely, definitely a worthwhile venture, especially if you got a bunch of lower end games taking up space laying around. Trading stuff into your local game store can be a great way to add to your collection or to find stuff for resale. Moral of the story, don't give up. Search hard and you can maybe find something like this. At least that's what I'm telling myself. If you like this video, check out this other game store video right here. That's about it. See ya. Chase after the rain.